if you work with Pinterest, this video is made for you. Hey, my name is Gala, I am Looker Studio expert and the founder of Gallery Reports. On my website you can find a lot of interesting information about Google Sheets, Looker Studio and other tutorials for digital marketers and digital marketing analytics. And I have some template store where you can find nice and easy to use templates in Looker Studio for digital marketing. And one of these template for Pinterest analytics we will absorb right now. This template has two pages, G4 and Pinterest. And uh, let's start from the first page. First page based on Google Analytics for account. For this template, I use G4 demo account. They don't have a lot of Pinterest data, but anyway, you can see some something. What do we have here? We have active users a month over months and year over year. Uh, new users, average session duration, conversion, event counts, and event count per user. So, just main KPIs. Compare uh, this previous month and year. Below we can see chart where we can see this data uh, day by day. Also, we have little error and we can change its uh, day by day view to month by month. Mm. Also, by default, we have an active users and new users, and we can change metric to other sessions, conversions, and etc. Um, if we scroll below, we can see a nice table with session, uh, session source and medium. In this case, it's just referral. If you use Pinterest ads, you will see this data here, and you see data from uh, last year, basically, month uh, by month. And you can see the, uh, your Pinterest data in dynamic. By default, we have active users, but we can change it to other type of um, metric. If we scroll down, oh my kitty came here. <laughs> uh, if we scroll down, we can see answer her question: uh, which pages and screens uh, our Pinterest users visited. Um, here we have one user that visited one page, so it's uh, in your case it should be more interesting, I guess, if you have more Pinterest traffic. And we have some essential uh, KPIs for page view. And if you want, you can turn off some metrics if you are not interested in. If we scroll down, we can see day of week and hour of the day. This is more popular day of week and hour. Pinterest users, and then we can see country um, breakdown. That is it about Google Analytics page. Uh, if we click edit, we can see that I can select any chart, and we can see that this is a G4 Google Merch Shop data. So at this uh, demo account, and we have filter applies. If we go to resources, manage filters, you can see that. Uh, this filter contains include our data source, G4, include session source medium, contains Pinterest. You can change sessions to um, first user uh, source medium, for example, if you think so. In your case, it will work better for your G4. But I think um, yeah, I to chose sessions um, and contains Pinterest. So this is our how our filter set up and this is how we filter only our Pinterest data. You can see here Google Analytics 4 filter applied and blah 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 blah. So this is I explain this filter how it works. Uh, if we go to second page, uh, this is uh, our data from uh, our Pinterest account. To be honest, I have like test Pinterest account. I don't have much data here as well because I don't work a lot with Pinterest. I don't work with Pinterest, okay, right. Uh, but I run some test ads just to show you some data. How does it work? There is no free connector to Looker Studio from Pinterest. That is why I have to use some paid connector services. In my case, I work a lot with Windstore, uh, and uh, I have a link here. So if you click, you can see open the website. 
and see this connector service. Mm, and you can use uh, quite cheap actually. So this, like you can have, uh, I think it's, they have 30 days free uh, trial period. And then the, the plan, the cheapest plan starts from $90 per month only. Um, okay. Uh, so I use this Windsor connector for this report and with this connector we can know uh, account followers, how many f uh, followers do you have in a Pinterest account, how many pins do you have, uh, account month review, pin impressions, click, save. And this compare with the previous period, so I had nothing before, so here I have zero. Mm, then we have time series chart uh, where you can see your uh, account followers, clicks and reactions day by day. Again, you can drill down to month by month mm, and you can see, you can change some metrics to see on charts. I have, mm, for example, I don't have, I have clicks, I think. So you can change metric to see uh, clicks, for example, in my case right now. Then we can see, uh, this is organic data. So this is not your Pinterest ads data, this is organic. And uh, then we have some board analytics. So you can see your board description, image, some followers, board followers and pins and comparison with the previous month. And if we scroll down, we have some pins analytics day by day. We have impressions, clicks, uh, saves, conversion, um, pin save rate, and etc. So you have some pin analytics day by day. If you don't like some metrics, you can switch it off. And uh, this is what we can have from organic. And uh, next, if you have Pinterest ads, you can have some data from Pinterest ads, like how much money you spend, impressions, users engagement, engagement rate and cost per mile. And uh, what is nice, you can see some Pinterest ads, uh, ads overview. You can see it's by pin name and campaign. Also, you can see some uh, difference by placement, uh, some placement overview and see which kind of placement worked better for you. Uh, that is it. This is a really simple Pinterest dashboard. It, uh, but I think it's a cover. It covers your main KPIs and you can see your Pinterest analytics in dynamic and you don't need to open G4 and uh, understand how does it work and open your Pinterest, uh, Pinterest account so you can have all data in one place. And if you work as an agency, it's I think this report is super nice to share with your clients because it's simple and it shows main data. I think that is it. I hope you like it. Uh, you can find this template uh, in my online store. Mm. If you decide to buy this template, I hardly recommend you, first of all, to connect a Windsor IE connector. So mm, go through this link, register on the website, uh, then open Looker Studio, and you need to add and data here you will type wind or uh, pinterest ads and pinterest organic connect these data sources um, then you have g4 account where is it okay let's write So you have Google Analytics connector, so connect your website to Luger Studio. Uh, when you have your account connected and uh, you buy template, you will you can make a copy. And when you make a copy uh, on this copy this report page, uh, you choose your uh, you choose your account here. So you choose uh, you replace this Google Analytics to your account and uh, replace Windsor my account to yours. In this case, it will replace all data sources for all charts 
and you will uh, keep all filters working. And when you change reports, uh, when you change data sources on this stage, you click copy report, and everything will be on place, and your report will be ready to use. If you don't do it, it will be more tricky to you to use the dashboard because you need to go to manage data sources, connect it here, and then click to each chart and change data source. So it's much more work. So I don't recommend you to do it. Um, so when you buy a template, you first connect your data sources. After that, you make a copy, change original data source to yours, and that's it. So it's kind of two minutes of work and your Pinterest report is ready to use. Hope you like this video. Let me know if you have some questions or you want to have other template in my store that uh, you think will be super useful for you. And uh, talk to you soon. Bye.